swearing in our public servants. I'm Lauren Thomas, the mayor and city council beginning a new term is what's happening in the city of Greenville this week. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, <laughs> Mayor. Knox White was sworn in for his eighth term as Greenville mayor on December 11th, the anniversary of his first oath taken in 1995. Council members John DeWorkin, Dorothy Dow, and Ken Gibson were also re-elected for another four years. Seen, heard, valued. A mural on the back of the Triune Mercy Center features eight stories of hope to honor those experiencing homelessness. The mural by Ninja Picasso, commissioned by the Greenville Homeless Alliance, is a commitment to awareness, partnerships, and solutions. Mayor Knox White and members of City Council were joined by State Representatives Bruce Bannister and Chandra Dillard for a groundbreaking on the Cultural Corridor. The project currently under construction will include street resurfacing, landscaping, multi-use paths, traffic signal upgrades, and street pedestrian lighting. The Greenville City Fire Department held its annual banquet. New firefighters were welcomed with their official pinning of badges. Accomplishments by crews and individuals were recognized for outstanding work on difficult calls and dedication above and beyond the call of duty. Sprinkles couldn't dampen the Christmas spirit in Greenville. A festive crowd lined downtown for the annual Poinsettia Christmas Parade. The parade was broadcast live in partnership with WYFF4. Illuminating the holidays and shining a brighter light on baseball, Mayor Knox White flipped the switch at Floor Field to open Kringle Holiday Village and power on the Greenville Drive's investment in new, state-of-the-art LED lighting. Say hello to Theodore! More than 900 votes were cast in the Greenville Zoo naming poll sponsored by Fetch Vets. Theodore is the winning name for the Colobus monkey with 50% of the votes. It's the most photographed tree in Greenville, and its roots run deep in Falls Park. This week, the Medusa tree was honored as the 2023 Heritage Tree by Trees South Carolina. The 90-year-old American beech tree, with its broad limbs and exposed roots, is considered one of the most remarkable in the state. Also near Falls Park, Tate Plaza was pressure washed and new furniture was installed. It's already being enjoyed by park visitors. This holiday season, we are grateful for our neighborhood association presidents. We celebrated this group of tireless advocates with a luncheon at the Prisma Health Welcome Center at Unity Park. Presidents serve as advisors to city leaders and communicate the needs of their community. Lord Honey, Greenville is buzzing with excitement over a visit from celebrity chef and Food Network star, Chef Jason Smith. Lord Honey. The Southern cook, with his signature catchphrase, was at Mass General Store to sign autographs, give hugs, and show off his new cookbook. It's not exactly fashion week, but our active adults got in the holiday spirit with an ugly Christmas sweater party. But let's face it, everybody looks fabulous. I'm Lauren Thomas for the city of Greenville.